Well, morning fellow operators uh, and general public probably. I've got a few questions that need answering. I'd love to see the risk assessment policy for a smart motorway. I'd like to see it. How can it be safe? There's no hard shoulder. It not make any sense. We've always been taught as operators or drivers, if you break down on the hard shoulder, or break down, get on the hard shoulder, get your passengers to safety. Now what are we going to do? Could somebody tell me? The lanes are narrow. They're saying they're going to have them flashing. That didn't stop that truck killing them family when they're on the phone. People don't react in time. You, you, you've now left, or the highways agency and the government have left coach operators in a vulnerable position. And old people, and our daughters in cars, and our sons in cars, they break down on that motorway now. It's pray and hope that some truck doesn't wipe you out or another car. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't get it. There's more accidents now on the M60 round Eccles than there's ever been. Every day there's a truck hit a truck or a car hit the back of a truck or a truck hit another bus or whatever, and it's just it's just horrendous. There's just no there's no logic in it, and and we're doing 50 mile an hour, but we're not because the pillocks are doing 40 mile an hour, which drags everybody else down, and it's just like a stop start stop start bump bump. That's why there's so many accidents. But my big problem, I need to know about the risk assessment policy on what we do when we break down on a smart motorway with 50 children on and some of them poor kids will be sat on that back seat where there's no protection really in a coach apart from a bit of box section and a bit of an engine which is not going to stop 40 ton truck it's in it and 50 is it? Mark my words it's going to happen there's going to be a disaster but I want to know who sat around that table right when they were designing it they must have all been geeks not one of them must have had what we call common sense not one of them's gone, hey mate, what happens if someone breaks down? How do they, in their old or little kids, how do they get over that barrier? And plus, you wouldn't want them on the carriageway anyway, would you? So they've got to sit there, just, and then something might hit them. Say we've got a driver that's not concentrating and wipes them out. No shit, they wipe you out on the hard shoulder. So what are they going to do when you're in the lane? So maybe I'm a bit of a moaner and a whinger, but. Doesn't make any sense. I don't see what's smart about it. The other thing is, as a coach driver, and I'm sure there's plenty of people on who drive trucks as well, there's no room. You've got like, it's just ridiculous when you pass your mirrors nearly touch. It's just, I don't know. I, maybe I'm getting all the time, I just give up. I give up. I don't see where the government's logic is. Obviously, they've got no common sense whatsoever, and they need looking at. And you people design that motorway, when anybody, a big disaster does happen, take a look at yourself. I want your risk assessment policy.